Hello, I thought I would try a different uh, camera angle. Um, I've been watching um, my my friend's YouTube channel, Verbals at Cloud9, and he's he has the the camera kind of pointed from above. So I thought I might try that. And also I can show off my super swanky Hasegawa work apron at the same time. So this is the Yukikaze Mecha Clay show model. Now I have already started on this, and uh, this is what it looks like. I haven't primed it yet. I mean, I'm gonna try to fill in this uh, seam here. Um, I'm sorry, not, not not a seam, but just you know the, the gap in between the parts here. I'd like to try that. Um, in the meantime, though, let's get started on this. So. This should be a very quick build, I imagine. Can't be that many parts. Yep. And again, here are the neat little decals that uh, uh, Bellerfon and and uh, Ultron have made for me. Super nice guys. Here we go. Here are the, the parts for this. Starship. So, we look at the models, uh, the instructions here. So, this is parts one. This is uh, number three. Here's number one. Let's just go ahead and get this done here. And I've actually I put in the old original Yamato. <laughs> so, you take this out. I'm watching old Yamato in the background here. Not not so much watching, but more just listening to. I, I, I guess I should say. So let's uh, let's point this down more. Okay. So I got this part here. Number fourteen. Now, unlike the original. Uh, Mecha Collection kits. These are snap pieces. So, in theory, no no glue is required, but we'll see. Okay, so that goes there. Um, see, it's it's kind of silly though, because you know you're still gonna have to paint this anyways, because you're only gonna get like white and he and red. You're not gonna get any yellow. So, um, the good thing, you know, is that, you know, I, I'm really, really glad that they, um, did not try to make yellow plastic, because it would have been even more pieces to put together, and it probably would have been kind of over-engineered and not, not really good. Just my opinion. You know, it would have been too many pieces when it's not necessary. You know, simple masking should suffice. So, here we go. This goes like so. Yay. Okay. Yeah, okay. That fits together easily enough. And then, um... fits together like so. <laughs> like, uh, like, like so. <laughs> um, okay, I think it goes here. Alright. Looks like maybe something else fits in here. Oh, shoot! P ah. Nerf pickles. See, I'm already screwing this up. I'm already screwing this up already. Um, I, I forgot the bottom part for this thing here. Let me get my part separator. Crap, it delicious. Ah, oh, Donkey Kong cereal.
Now where's the parts? How am I supposed to get this apart here? Ah, drop it on the floor, great. <laughs> Turd monkey. Alright, I'm gonna come back to this. I don't wanna bore, bore you too much. With a bit of work, I, I got the, the parts separated, so... That was a bit, uh... Troublesome. But anyhow, let's, uh, let's make, make sure we do this properly here. Let's fit these together first. There. That's why I had that gap. Now, this goes in here. And then this goes in here. Like so. Okay, there's no mistake this time, right? Um, actually, yes, I am making a mistake. Got it upside down. Jeez, good thing, huh? Sorry, I've been kind of troubled a lot lately, I suppose. So, um... There. Now, that looks much better. Much, much, much better. Okay. And... So... Part number three comes next. That's this big piece here. Now the reason I'm doing this, it, I'm going to be working on both of these together, the fine molds plus this one, and um, I have this paint set to paint it with, so that's, that's pretty swanky. So this goes like that, and then it fits on the back here. And then part number 10 is, where's part number 10? Oh, here it is. Love the sound of those guns in this show. It's really cool. Okay, now let me look at the colors. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be the same color. Because I think there's, there's some strategy behind this that you probably want to not um, put some, some pieces together so that you can easily paint them separately. There. But since this is all one color, it should be a lot easier. Okay, so that, that fits just fine on that part. And then I think that the gun turret goes here. Okay, so now, um, when I did the unboxing video, I pointed out there's this really elaborate, uh, goofy looking thing here. That uh, is just all one piece. That, and they have that, this uh, plastic box to protect it in. So it all just goes together as one solid thing. And since it is a snap kit, I think it probably would make most sense to include it in the kit like this. So in order to protect it, they had this one big piece. Um, and, you know, surrounded by this big plastic box here. So, what the hell? This goes, um, jeez, is there like a top or bottom to this thing, or what? I don't know. Mm. It fits in the back like so. Okay. And then I'm going to fit number two. And this, I believe, is number two. Yep. Yeah, you have the bridge number one. I have to go number two. And yep. hmm. Okay. So number two fits like here. Yeah. There we go. I think. No. Nope. Goes like here. That was wrong. Okay, 
Snap, snap, snap. Okay, cool. And then we got part number 17. It looks like I'm done with this. Let's, yeah. Make like a tree? Get out of here. Uh, we got this part here, number 17. Uh, which actually might be advantageous to leave it as is. So as you got like part number 16 and number 17 on either side. Hmm. I think it probably would be better. Let me look at the box here. See, you got like this this red line here. Okay. I'm going to leave this alone, I think. And uh, not put this part together. So I, apparently it kind of goes like this. Kind of surrounds this part here. And it fills in that this little wing, the bottom wing here. So it was something this small. I think I might want to, you know, mask this if I'm going to be painting it separately and such. Uh, now here we have, those are, these are, um, these cannons, or the, not cannons, but like, uh, these tank-like structures that fit on the bottom. And then there's the cannons, which are these here. And I believe... Cannons have these red parts to go on top of it to make make the stripe. Hmm. So in which case, these would probably be best to be painted individually. And then assembled later. And then that way I won't have to mask. The only masking I'll have to do would be on, on this, this part here. Like uh, the front red here and on the back here. So, so I mean, I, I kind of I want to put these together so that, you know, I can mask the, the yellow part properly versus the white. So, uh, some of it's going to be definitely necessary. Um, now, for these, these things on the side here, I can put these on there one and uh, two okay and then I'll have to you know do a bit of sanding and such but I won't do that on camera, I'll just do that um, another, another time. So then these kind of just fit on here. And this one goes on here. I guess it doesn't matter really, they're interchangeable apparently. So, there you go. Now, for a size comparison, they're not that much different actually. Wow. So if this is 500 scale, hmm, I wonder what scale this would be. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe a uh, three, f no, I'm sorry, I'm, it'll have to go the other way. It wouldn't be a thousand, one one thousand, it would probably be like one seven fifty, I'm guessing, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, now, since this is snap, though, I got these some parting lines. I guess it's kind of forgivable. I guess it's not so bad, really. I guess. So, um, got some some filing to do here, but um, yeah, this this is the bulk of it here. These red parts, I can test fit here. That's how that goes together. Not really much of a parting line, so, you know, it would be pretty good just to go ahead and paint these separately. 
and then um, put them on later after it's been painted. So the cannons, you have to get put these on some skewers. And as for these fellows here, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I'd like to do that. This is the stand here. So yeah, all I have to do is just take take these these two parts off here. So I think I'm done with this. Oh no, I'm not. Okay. This tree is done. So these go onto the cannons like so. So that way you get this this cool little uh, red stripe. It goes on top of there. So um, anyhow. This is just a new way of videoing. I don't know if, if this is better. Maybe for something small like this, I should just have the camera in front of me like, like I usually do. That might be better. Um, I don't know. I'll have to take a look at this after I, I, uh, I finish recording. So, anyhow, that's it for now. I will have to do some priming. And then... Um, get around to painting the parts and then final assembly so pretty quick build thanks for watching